3D reconstruction algorithms, such as structure for motion, have enjoyed great success in the past few decades. However, when given images that have little or no overlap, such as these two from Goodwill Hunting, traditional 3D systems fail miserably. One critical reason is that no correspondence can be found between the two images, as there are no co-visible 3D points. To overcome this limitation, we present virtual correspondences. Virtual correspondences can be found regardless of viewpoints, so long as there are common objects in the scene. In this case, humans. Virtual correspondences can have completely different appearances and semantics. For instance, a head pixel on the left is associated with a nose pixel on the right. Most importantly, virtual correspondences conform to epipolar geometry, which allows us to integrate them seamlessly with existing 3D algorithms. With virtual correspondences, structure from motion can work even when there is little overlap. Virtual correspondences at its core refer to pixels whose camera rays intersect in 3D. Since the rays intersect, we can form epipolar planes and adopt epipolar geometry. The problem then becomes, how do we know if the camera rays of the pixels intersect in 3D or not? The problem is trivial when the camera poses are known. Unfortunately, it becomes extremely challenging when camera poses are unknown which is the common setting in 3D reconstruction. Our key insight is to exploit the foreground objects. Specifically, we try to hallucinate what we can see on the other side. Given an input image, we first predict the shape and pose of the objects in the scene. Then, we cast a ray over each pixel in the image and record each point that it hits. In this case, the ray hits the belly and the back of Kobe Bryant. Finally, we search over other images and see if either of these points are visible. In this case, the back of Kobe is visible. Hence, we know that the camera ray of the back pixel in the second image, and the camera ray of the belly pixel in the first image intersect in 3D, and therefore they are virtual correspondences. Here we show a few comparisons against classic correspondences. Virtual correspondences can be found despite the scene has little overlap. In contrast, classic correspondence focus on matching pixels based on appearances. As a result, they fail to find correct matches when the viewpoint change increases. Here we show a few more 3D reconstruction results with little overlap. Virtual correspondences also unleash the potential of multiple downstream tasks, such as extreme multi-view stereo. As you can see, Although the videos that we recorded has little scene overlap, we are still able to register the cameras effectively with virtual correspondences and reconstruct a complete and high quality mesh. Please check out our paper for more details and our project website for more qualitative and interactive results. Thank you.